What's up guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to make multiple sprites within one sprite. Alright, let's get started. Now, most of the time, in order to create a new sprite, you can either go to this choose a sprite and you can figure your way around that, or you can just duplicate the sprite and you can uh, have multiple sprites like that. However, when, when I start having a lot of sprites, things start to get really weird and, dare I say, laggy. And I, and I get why you're doing this, because maybe you're making a main menu and you want certain buttons to have different functions. Um, so, you, so you make different sprites for the buttons. Well, first of all, this makes your programs very laggy. Secondly, it's difficult to read. If you have all of these different sprites, and uh, all of them have the same function, well, te well technically the same function, but you, you want them to do different things, then, it, then it's best to put them all in one sprite, because um, multiple sprites, as I said before, it makes, the, it makes your project laggy. So what I can do is I can delete all these sprites, and I can go to the co and I can look towards the costume section, and what the costumes is is it basically, um, they're different poses of the character, different iterations of the character. So this is Scratch Cat one, this is costume one, costume two, costume three, costume four, and just for testing purposes, I'll make these different colors. Like I'll make number two green, I'll make number three blue, and I'll make number four purple. Uh, purple. Okay, so I've made four individual costumes. Now, uh, the beauty of this is that uh, uh, we can make multiple sprites just by switching the costumes and creating some clones. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Basically, we go to code and we make a block and we call it clone and then we say x, y. And you can run without screen refresh if you want, but I'm not going to. I, I find that... Okay waste of time and I go to control and I get this create clone on myself what this does is it basically creates a clone of the original of the parent sprite and creating clone of myself allows you to position different clones at different areas just by um just by putting a go to block in there and you can say go to the x and y inputs that we said and after that we need to put next costume so here we're going to say when go clicked hide because we want the master of the parent sprite, the master sprite to hide, but only we want the clones to show. So when I start as a clone show. However, we have to put this clone X, Y inside the when go clicked. It, it just has to be like that. Otherwise it won't work. So I want this, uh, I want this cloned cat to go up here and that's negative 159, 110. And I want to switch costume to costume one. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Now uh, let's make let's make the uh, second cat go to the other position. As you can see, it works. And in fact, I'll flip horizontally. I'll flip horizontally. Perfect. And I'm going to have the third one be at, the, at negative 159, negative 110. And as you can see, it works. And I'll have this be at negative 159, 110 needs to be 159 and negative 110 sorry and as you can see it works perfectly and we can move the clones however this doesn't change and that's one of the downsides of using uh, multiple sprites within one sprite is that this value only changes for uh the for the original sprite not clones but yeah um that was how to make multiple sprites within one sprite i really hope you enjoyed if you did then smash like and smash subscribe and i'll see you guys next time everybody goodbye